I uh, just had a, a big announcement, 420, Ryan Garcia. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's I mean, are, are, they got to be ready for it. Because, right. because let me just tell you, Ryan, with all the distractions, you know what I mean? The leather coat. Because, see, now, what threw me off He is, told me he was smoking on some packs or something. Listen, I, I heard listen, I, that's smoking why I came, I, listen, I came to Hardeen. Ain't no Bill Haney packs. Ain't nobody smoking on me. I'm here. I looked around, and if they was here, you know what I mean? I would let you know. There's no Bill Haney packs. And if they were, they would be so exclusive. I'm telling you, Ryan wouldn't have them. <laughs> so... Looking forward to the fight, four twenty, right? Absolutely. What do you expect? What, what, what's your What's your thoughts? Give me, me Give me your expectations for the fight. Let me tell you first and foremost. I'm not underestimating Ryan. People saw some different energy in him. I don't know if it was his leather coat, like I said, because he came through. He he was like the Fonzie, you know, Fonzarelli, you know himself. Happy days, you know. He he, but he showed energy that people hadn't seen, but I know he's a talented kid. He's only lost, uh, came from, you know, extremely powerful other guy, Nemesis, and and that other guy, you you know you know the name, you know the other old boy, but Man, but I, anyway. I, what, hold on. Wait, 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 but let me, let me, let me, but let me tell you, let me tell you because they don't, I don't wanna go there first. Let me go, let me, let me say. <laughs> you know I got something. Let, let, okay, but let me say that Ryan Garcia is an extremely talented guy and kid that we are not um, by any stretch taking him lightly. Um, we know that there's no hydration in this fight. He's going to be at 140 pounds. He hasn't lost at 140 pounds with no hydration. Um, we know that um, you know he's a multi-division amateur champion. Um, but Dev is going to beat the brakes off of him because – it's Devin, and he's special. I tell everybody, don't try to emulate Devin. He's he's the hardest working man in boxing, and it'll show him 420, Devin's superior skills. But Ryan, I know he's coming to fight, and it's going to be a hell of a fight. It's going to be a hell of an event, 420, uh, uh, to be announced, the uh, arena and venue. All right, so give me give me your prediction for the fight. Give me what, you know, what's your expectation? A bloodbath, a massacre. You know what Devin do. He go in there and put on a, we call it the tattoo shop. He opens up the tattoo shop. Rights, lefts, uppercuts. I mean, it's an array of shit that he does. And that's what's called being a master, a master class performer, a master class boxer, right? And the name of the game is boxing. But you saw in the championship fight with Regis Progre, not only did we um, show the defensive skills and breaking the record in terms of championship fights, but we also did a number on Regis Proge, not only knocking him down, beating him up, and a corner and a doctor going in there to uh, see him. And you know what I mean? This is the name of the game, and this is what we do. So is Ryan going to leave his this bout with the pretty face that he be talking to? No, <laughs> I can guarantee you that. And, I, and listen, anybody in all the Ryan Garcia fans, you know what I mean? Uh, this is the one – that if you're upset about him for at, for anything, watch this because Devin is going to tattoo his face on 420. Believe that. I've noticed Ryan's been you know using the Philly shell recently and, and, and heavy, heavy like back turning. Well, I mean, when I noticed that, and I knew that you know you from Philly. It's a lot of Philly shells and Philly shoves and pushes going on, man. What's what's happening with Philly, man? You know what I mean? What y'all got going on, man? Who's is there? Is there respectfully? Is there a champion from Philly right now? Uh, oh, man. well. Yeah. Oh, he, oh yeah. Let me take that around. He invited you to the bathroom. Let me, huh? He invited let me, you to the bathroom. Well, listen. <laughs> I, you know, I and out here we get down when we get mad at. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, if it had if it had started from the bathroom and led out of the bathroom or wherever, but, you know, I went every place that he wanted to go until he did that. What is that? The Philly? What is that? The Philly? Philly slide? Or the, I mean, I didn't say the Philly shell, but let's give it a name today on Tony the Closer. Tell me what it is, because I see a lot of shoving and pushing going on. Ryan did it. And you noticed that Bernard did it. Is that is that a new move that we need to watch out for? Man, they they want smoke. Apparently, what what you do to piss these guys off, man? Shit, I I guess I didn't do too much. If all I'm getting is a little shoving and a little pushing, 
What you think? The man inviting you to the bathroom. What made it personal? What what, what made it get personal between you two? Hey man, listen. I don't know because um, you know we've never had a chance to actually talk about it. Um, we've said we've had a few things that we've exchanged, um, but you know that's left for for me and him to talk about. You know, um, I think we left off on on a note that we might need it to have a discussion, and you know when that time comes, we'll have that discussion.